Okay guys, so um, now you're pretty much done with uh, the PowerPoint, breaking down the sample shape, and we're moving to uh, the next step, uh, and it's called cross contour. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go back to uh, a pear, you know, a fruit. So remember, sphere, and then center line, cone on top, okay, and then you have a stem, and then you go and you modify the contour line, depending on how it looks like, okay? So we have a pair, and this is really all you're doing right now. You're not doing any shading. It's, called, it's simply called a contour drawing. Cross contour drawing is to add lines across the contour to show dimension to give kind of a 3D look to things. So I'm gonna show you, basically I can flip my paper, so I'm turning it that way because it's easier for me to work that way. And you can do the same thing. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go from one side to the other and I'm gonna create a center line like this. That's gonna be my first cross control. And as I move, I'm gonna start curving following what I think would be dimensional, okay? So here, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna curve, I'm gonna curve. And every time my curve is getting a little stronger. All right. So if you look at this, now you can see, you can see the dimension, the 3D aspect of things. That's really what we're doing. It's called cross contour. We're doing this because as you go across, first of all, you're working on your penmanship, craftsmanship, mastering those lines, being precise with it, but also you're rewiring your brain to create and see dimension. And when you go into classic shading later on, this kind of exercise will really help you. So I want you to take, to practice and do eight to nine little drawings like this. So you can go back to the PowerPoint. I mean, if you wanna, you know, redo some of the things, I mean, it's, it's always practice, practice is always great. So you can go back to the PowerPoint and do the pear, the, the bottle, the cup, whatever you want, and practice into the cross contour, okay? Uh, some people do also lines on this direction. It's not necessary, it's really up to you, uh, but this is cr what cross contour is. Then we're gonna take it further. So you did 10 practice drawing, the pear, the cup, the bottle, uh, the binocular, or something else that you you know, got from your house, since we cannot be in the studio, I don't have any props to show you. Anything would work. Um, and then we're gonna add, so I go back to looking that, that way, and then we're gonna add a light source, okay? So this is just you deciding where in your imagination you want the light source to be. Uh, so let's say the light, uh, you know, let's do a little sun the light source is gonna come from here. So this is gonna be lit in this direction. And on the other side, uh, it's gonna be shade, okay? So how to show that? So we practice 10, okay, eight to 10. We do just cross contour, and then we'll come back and practice doing this thing. I'm gonna show you. So you come back here, and since it's the shady area, you gotta make those line on that side thicker okay so and you try to pull them so you don't throw them you kind of pull them it's easier to do it from top down for that way that direction vertical is always easier than doing something like this that's why I flip my paper so you go back here and thick and thin line. That's the technique you're working on right now. It's called thick and thin line. If you look at the PDF, 
there's tons of example of drawing created like this and it became what used to be kind of a practice exercise became a style by itself and you can go on, on youtube you'll see a lot of artists using that technique now it's called thick and thin lines okay so i'm doing that all across and see if i look at this this one now can you see the dimension that's what we're doing okay then uh, you're going to use that technique for the next assignment that will be called a um, few of my favorite things which you will take three to five objects create a setting you know like a new house you can create a little still life with lighting to left to right sorry i'm moving that stupid thing and um you'll do a bunch of thumbnail thumbnails i explained that to you and then you'll have a choice creating a uh, final drawing using that technique so if you pen you know your pen drawing is clean enough you can just you know finish it like this you can keep it pen um, if you prefer, uh, you know, you will get a stronger result over the pencil, you could ink it, okay? So basically that would be, you know, you finish your drawing and then you would come back and then, you know, going over the top of it, you know, and creating thick and thin lines, you know, and when that's dry, you can erase your pencil and you have a clean ink drawing. That would be optional. If you think that, you know, your drawing in pencil is not really clean, it's not what you want it to be, you can always ink on top. Make sure you let it dry and erase, okay? So I hope it's helpful. Uh, make sure to review all material like uh, online, like I always post. And um, uh, good luck with that and have fun.